housing for young people. Use the proceeds to pay down our deficit. And it just warms my heart, Candace, to think of that beautiful family pulling up in their U-Haul to move into their wonderful new home in the former headquarters of the CBC. <laughs> Section 2B, Charter Rights of Freedom of Expression. No muzzling students, no muzzling faculty. End the woke mob. And we will not allow the central bank to bring in a digital currency to control our money. We already, we already have digital money. It's called your bank account. It's called your credit card. Yeah, we, we got a gentleman over there. He's a little agitated. Hey, listen. Listen, I'll be happy to chat with you afterwards. I'll be happy to chat with you afterwards. We'll have a chat, we'll have a conversation afterwards. Go easy on him. He's okay. Well, I'll have a chat with this gentleman afterwards. It's all right. You know what? Look, I understand why people are so frustrated. They feel like they're under attack. They've been under attack by their government in Ottawa for too long. So they're frustrated and divided and looking for a chance to speak out. And I want that young man to understand that I hear his voice, I feel the pain that he's been suffering, he's a legitimate person, and he deserves the respect of our leaders. Minister means servant. I will be his servant as well. We will restore freedom in this country because we believe, unlike our political opponents, that the common people have the wisdom to make their own decisions. You know, the view of socialism, is that there's a small, supreme few who just know better than everyone else, right? It's not so much a view of the world, it's a view of themselves, that they are just on a higher moral and intellectual plane, and so that they should decide for everyone else. That's really what their view is. That's why they want to concentrate the control over what you see and say. They want to concentrate your money. They want to decide which companies get cash and which companies don't, rather than letting the free exchange of product for payment, investment for interest, work for wages through a free market economy. Everything, in their view, must be concentrated in the hands of fewer and fewer people. And now this is based on the assumption that man is incapable of governing himself, but somehow capable of governing others. So what is their view of human nature, anyway? If man is so flawed that he can't make his own decisions, how can he decide for others? Well, the answer they would give is that there are just some people made of better clay, and it turns out it's them, right? They know better than everybody else. Now they look down as they fly over rural communities like this one and think that the people who are doing the work on the ground don't know anything. They say that those are the ordinary people. <laughs>